There's been a lot going on in the world recently, and I just wanted to take some time to say, life is terrible. It's always been terrible, and I don't know if it will ever not be. I feel like every few days I wake up and look at my phone and find out something else terrible has happened. It's actually not even cool anymore. I'm William Haynes, and you're watching People Be Like. You guys know America. We love being at war. If you got a discrepancy with us, expect bombs. You're lucky they've made certain types of warfare illegal because we would still be doing them. We were the first country to land on the moon, not because we cared about exploring space, but because we were trying to drop bombs on aliens first. If they existed there, warfare is actually really easy to get into in certain countries. Different cultures have different ways of considering something a threat. For instance, in the Philippines, all you have to do is invert the colors of their flag. Well, guess who did it by accident? Facebook. Oops. The social media website accidentally sent out the nation's flag to all of its users in the Philippines with the red part of the flag colored blue and the blue part colored red. This is only done when the country is in the state of war. They were trying to celebrate Philippine Independence Day, but did the opposite. Facebook. Don't ever, ever mess with Filipino people. They're one of my favorites. I'm talking about Dante Bosco, my producer John, Megan Batoon, Joe Coy, Manny Pacquiao, Megan Batoon, Vanessa Hudgens and Megan Batoon. I don't want any of those people to be casualties at war. Oh, ah! pasta. Okay. Working at a fast food restaurant may seem like a breeze, but it can actually be very stressful. Like when you're working at the drive-thru and a customer asks for some sauce and you give them a handful of sauce and they look back at you like it's not enough. Look, man, we got hella sauce, but that doesn't mean you're entitled to it. Oh, you want one more packet of sweet and sour ranch? Well, you can go ahead down to the Albertsons two blocks down, park right in front, and go buy your own bottle. In lieu of this new information, you might be interested to hear about three women who are under arrest after they decided to assault a McDonald's employee because she was working too slowly to serve them. What's crazy is that in their arrest photos, two of the women seem to be smiling as if being arrested isn't something that happened to them that day. On June 8th at a McDonald's in Bellevue, Ohio, the female employee was assaulted in the parking lot after the women claimed her service was too slow. They were arrested the next day after security video identified them. Look, if your life has gotten to the point where you're attacking somebody because they didn't give you chicken nuggets fast enough, reevaluate everything. There are so many more terrible things going on in the world that you should put your efforts into, like literally anything else. You know what you guys should do? Just start running and keep running until you can't run anymore. Wherever you end up, just stay there. Japan is such an amazing country. The art that comes out of this place is fantastic. It's one of the safest countries in the world, likely because in the 17th century, the government imposed laws limiting the number of gunsmiths in the nation, ensuring that an almost total prohibition of firearms. This same country also invented the Game Boy. You ever had a Game Boy? You know there's nothing better than a Game Boy. They even made Reina. Oni buraku fistu heinzu. Akuma. So you're evil? Yeah. You're a bad guy. But they still aren't safe from sometimes making things that don't need to be made. For instance, Tokyo's new naked restaurant. A restaurant where you can straight up eat naked. However, they totally won't let you eat there if you weigh too much. A list of rules stated, if you are more than 15 kilograms, 33 pounds, above the average weight for your height, we may ask you to refrain from making a reservation. That's crazy. That's the opposite of America. We have restaurants that plan for this. You ever been in certain barbecue establishments? Those seats are so wide I can fill all of my problems in one booth. The restaurant opens July 29th and people who are found overweight will not be allowed entry and since all payments must be made in advance through online booking, people who break their rule will not be entitled to a refund according to their website. I don't agree with this policy, so here at People Be Like, we decided to take a portion of our yearly budget and open up a new restaurant for anybody who wants to come. But I don't know how to cook. You know $750 is some bullshit for some Apple Jacks, right? Thanks, man. You don't have to leave a tip. Oh! So what do you guys think about all this? Do you think their rule is unfair for a restaurant? Have you ever felt like beating up a fast food employee? Why? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, I wish violence was the predecessor of love so we'd have something to look forward to. As we enter one of our most violent periods in history, I hope in the future we can look back at ourselves and say, we learned something. But it's hard to learn when we're caught up in repetitive debates, forced to listen to remedial politicians, and most importantly, hold on to the fear of moving forward with our systems of thought. I know the future's scary, mostly because it's one of the things we don't have control over. We may not be able to shape it, but we can inspire it. If we take the time to pay attention to what's causing problems, not just cleaning up their messes, we can shine light onto a brighter future. We can shine light into the darkest alleys, but we need to change the way we think. I'm William Hanks. Thank you. Mm.
In one night, you can become a perfect looking person. Love them or hate them, all I know is that he keeps it real. My main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> if you've been on the app, you've probably seen Riff Raff before because he really knows how to make you feel something. <laughs>